It looked like what happened when we did that whole thing is that, um, a second part of the altar appeared, maybe? So we're definitely not going to take any type of teleportation, because that didn't help us. Um... There's no way to drown the water, either. Unless... Ah... This probably did absolutely nothing, but... Yeah. Better than nothing, I suppose. I know it was like, it looked like a dark blue purplish area. I could think of is to go deeper into the caves. Damn it. Might as well at this point, I have no idea. <coughs> we just go as far down as we can go?
Ah, finally! Oh, we could go up here now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Wait. Uh oh. I don't like this. Whoa. What happened? Let's keep running. It's illuminating the area a bit. We're running in complete darkness, by the way, so... Hopefully nothing jumps out at us, even though this game doesn't seem to have that type of mechanic anyway. Uh, we need our insect friend. <laughs> ah. Ah, he must be on one of these. There he goes. We gotta bring him all the way back. See up there. Nothing over there. All right, so it definitely is to the right. Let's, let's go, guys. We finally found the way. <laughs> Thought I was gonna be lost for a while and have a pointless stream. Don't want to disappoint anyone. So what we gotta do here, make it spring, let's rise that up a bit. Alright. Well we go up there. There's a crystal down there too though, so I don't know. Ah, there's a mushroom up there. This is the, like, out of all the altars, I am loving this. This is so well done. Have, like, a whole, um, illuminescent setting in the cave, which is great. I'm loving the luminescence in this part of the spring altar. Probably the best altar so far, to be honest. Although the mechanic for the, the beginning part of the spring altar was nice, too. Okay, but we don't know if we're going left or right. Was there a right? No right. Okay. Seems to be very dark in the fall. Crystal? Crystal. The crystal's providing the light from my little fox sparks. Go up. Oh, we all saw that. Look at that thing. Hopefully I didn't skip one. I wasn't paying attention for those things. I can't even see the altar. It already set in somewhere and I can't see it. <laughs> there goes our altar. So before we do all that, there's more to the right, but let's go up our little mushroom friends here. Ah, to our left.
Uh oh, one of our insect buddies. Huh. So we have one of our insect buddies over here, but I'm not sure where he goes. Probably need him to get over here somewhere. Oh, look, a red one. Alright, so he probably needs to come this way. Oh, look, it's like a way out of the cave. Ah, look, there goes another piece. So we probably gotta lead our little insect friend. Oh, what? Ah! What? Wait, was that where he needed to go? That's crazy! Where's our little insect friend? So we gotta make it fall now. Fall makes it so dark, at least the winter gives us a little bit of light. Jump now. Uh. Right, so, so we're back outside now. Hmm? Is it just a shortcut back? From, like, where I was. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Okay. So, it was just a shortcut. Maybe I activated the altar. I think I did, Maybe I did everything already. Let's find out. What are we missing here? <clears throat> oh. I hate that it makes it darker, but it's the only time I can. Oh! So it's time I can see anything. To be fair though, I wasn't looking for these before, so... I seem to have much more light in the winter. Let's see. Uh, 
Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> hmm. All right, we'll go through the whole area again. So I missed one. Luckily for us, we have bioluminescence because we're a spirit. <laughs> I would do fall. Hmm. Hmm. Must have missed it somewhere. I believe I'm missing one. Let's try making a leap of faith to the right over here. Okay, not there. You usually don't make them this difficult to see, though. So this shouldn't be, like, such an issue. Let's try jumping up here. Ah! I need to fall! I can't see! Oh, okay. Checking every nook and cranny. Ah, there it goes! Knew it had to be near. It should at least make a sound. <laughs> Are you activated now? <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> <clears throat> well, this broke down here. Ah, another one. Finally, spring altar, obscured altar. 
definitely obscured, all right. And like, in a bi um, very um, ill-lit cave, using your own bioluminescence to get through, and the luminescence from the crystals. So. So will we finally see the ritual of the seasons? have gathered in the sanctuary. Everything is ready for the ritual. Come and join us, Fox. You must see this with your own eyes. <laughs> and then I explode. If, if you say so, Mr. Bear. <laughs> To get a little shortcuts back. The spring area is probably by far the largest. Well, no, the summer's pretty up there too, I guess. Oh, we're out of here already. <laughs> so maybe in the beginning when we saw that big purple pillar of light, that probably was the ritual of the seasons happening. Or she was trying to have it happen. Music? Oh, it was Neil. <laughs> Cicada? See, they call it Cicada, but I call it Cicada as well. Thank you, Mr. Bear. May the ritual commence. It is Cicada. Ha. The ritual of the seasons. What happened? Is that her? Like a feather. <laughs> Is that her? Oh, whoa. What would have happened to the cycle of the seasons if not for you, Fox? Don't worry, the seed hasn't disappeared. In this world, Nothing ever starts, and nothing ever ends. If you know where to look, if you know how to listen, you'll always be able to hear her voice. 
can we do something for you in return? I understand, but it's impossible. As Bring the fox back to life. We wish to reward you, dear fox. We cannot break what has already been broken. Don't cry for your fox. We'll make yeah. sure we honor him. Oh. Oh wow, that was it? I doubt there will be multiple endings to this game, but I mean, I'm. this game was so well done. As it shows here, um, you know, Swing Swing Submarine did a great job. I absolutely enjoyed this entire playthrough. Maybe a little frustrating at times, just only because I'm not the best at puzzle games, but I support indie games completely. Um, you know, it was also uh, published by Focus Home Interactive. This game was just so amazingly, amazingly well done. And I'm glad that you guys uh, went on this journey with me. I had such a good time playing this game. It was just The aesthetic was beautiful. The musical score, which is even going on right now, for the, even for the credits, was so well done. Although, it would have been better to have a musical score throughout the entire game. Even if it was more subtle at points, but I think they want you to hear the environment, like all, you know, with the birds chirping and certain things that were happening. I guess it did add to the ambiance, so can't complain too much there. But this, all the puzzles that were done for the activating of the altars, we activated one of the dream sequences, so I found out there's four dream sequences, and I only have one. <laughs> so maybe I'll collect those on a separate playthrough. But um, thank you everyone for watching and for following um, from the beginning of this game. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Crimson Fury out.